Hi, uh, my name is Adrian Roberts. I'm one of the physicians at Tallahassee Ear, Nose, and Throat. And we have, along with TMH, uh, begun doing a procedure called a balloon sinuplasty, which is a um, more uh, gentle way of opening the sinuses than ways which we have used in the past. And in the right patients, can lead to quicker recoveries, uh, more uh, pain-free recovery in the post-op period and better long-term results. The standard ways that we've always done sinus surgery involve uh, trying to open the sinuses that are blocked and that has been done with a variety of instruments uh, from curettes to um, break it open to powered instrumentation to debride it open but it's always involved creating a raw surface up in the sinus. Uh, now what we're using um, for the right patient is a balloon catheter, much like the ones that they use to open clogged heart uh, vessels, that can break open a uh, thin bone and spread the sinus opening more gently, uh, leading to less scarring and less pain uh, in the post-op period. The catheters are basically placed under uh, x-ray uh, in the operating room uh, over a guide wire that is put in the sinus uh, cavity um, and uh, the balloon is then threaded over the wire and once the placement is confirmed we blow it up and it opens up the passageway between the sinus and the nose uh, allowing for better drainage and less uh, risk of infections down the road. Uh, the, the sinuses that we can do that with uh, include the maxillary sinuses which are the ones behind the cheekbones, the ethmoid sinuses uh, currently we don't have a device for uh, that uses the balloon. Uh, the frontals be behind the forehead we can do with the balloon uh, and the sphenoid which is in the middle of the head we can do with the balloon. Uh, the ideal candidate uh, does not have any significant polyp change or other obstruction uh, other than just right at the opening between the sinus and the nose uh, so that way the balloon can address the single problem uh, that's keeping the sinus from draining. Um, patients who we've done this on and we've been doing this for about six months or so, uh, have generally been quite pleased. Uh, many of them have been pretty much completely pain-free in the post-op period, and they've all recovered very quickly uh, without a lot of the typical uh, scabbing and, and things that can happen with the more conventional ways of, of doing the surgery. So we've had uh, very good success with it. Um, it has been relatively simple in terms of learning to do it. It's a variation of what we've kind of always done and the technology is uh, very straightforward. So we've uh, been quite pleased, uh, as have our patients. And um, you know, we would be happy to uh, see anyone who thinks that they may be a good candidate. Uh, they can always call us at our office, uh, Tallahassee Ear, Nose, and Throat, or um, the link can be provided through the website.